fungus gnats are a fruit fly-sized insect pest. Attracted to the moisture of potting soil, adult gnats lay their eggs, up to about 200, on organic matter near the soil surface. After about four days, the eggs hatch into larvae, which burrow into the soil to feed on fungi and decaying plant material. Two weeks after that, adult gnats emerge from the soil to repeat the process. Adults live for about one week. Fungus gnats are completely harmless to humans, since they can't bite and don't spread diseases. However they can be a problem for house plants. When their population explodes their larvae starts to feed on plants' roots causing notable damage. This is especially bad for young plants, such as seedlings, which have only a few delicate roots. Fungus gnats may also spread pythium, a group of plant pathogens that causes damping off in seedlings and the eventual death of seedlings. Fungus gnat damage will appear similar to that of any other root-related issue, such as root rot. Lower leaves may turn yellow and drop, and the plant's growth may slow down or stop completely. In particularly bad cases, wilting of the entire plant could occur, followed by the death of the plant if roots are extremely damaged. How to get rid of fungus gnats? Getting rid of fungus gnats is all about consistency. Catching the adults is fairly easy, but because the adult population comes in cycles, you need to make sure that your traps are refreshed regularly. For the best results, use a combination of the preventative methods. Sticky card straps. Cider vinegar traps. Sticky card straps. These traps consist of a yellow note card covered in a sticky adhesive. They are most effective when cut into small squares and placed directly on top of the soil or attached to skewers just above the soil. Adult gnats will fly or crawl onto the card and become trapped. Fungus gnats are attracted to the color yellow, so use the yellow sticky cards. Cider vinegar traps Simple and effective, cider vinegar traps consist of a shallow container with a small amount of apple cider vinegar, water, and liquid dish soap. Take a small container and fill it with equal parts water and apple cider vinegar. Put a few drops of liquid dish soap into the mixture and stir gently. Place the trap near the base of the affected plant or, ideally, inside the pot on top of the soil. Check it every few days to refresh with new vinegar and water. How to prevent fungus gnats? Keep soil dry. Mosquito dunks. Cover drainage holes. Sand. Food grade diatomaceous earth. Cinnamon. Potting mixes perlite or vermiculite. Neem oil insecticide. Essential oils. Keep soil dry. Fungus gnats seek out moist soil, so allowing your house plants to dry out a bit between waterings can slow down or stop an infestation. Let the top inch or two of soil dry out before watering again, and try to go as long as possible between waterings. Gnats may be deterred from laying their eggs if the soil is dry on the surface. Mosquito dungs, with beneficial bacteria. The product consists of a dry pellet containing a type of bacteria called Bacillus thuringiensis subspecies is realensis. This beneficial bacteria infects and kills the larvae of flying insects, including mosquitoes, fruit flies, and fungus gnats. To use mosquito dungs, fill up a gallon jug, or watering can, with clean water and toss in a mosquito dunk. It's a good idea to break up the dunk a bit before placing it in the water, or you can wait for it to soften before breaking it apart. Let the dunk soak in the water for as long as possible, at least overnight, then remove it from the water, the dunk can be reused, and use this water for fungus gnat infested plants. The bacteria will have leached into the water and will now infect and kill any larvae that come into contact with it in the soil. Repeat this process every time you water your plants for at least a few months. Cover drainage holes. Though nets typically remain near the tops of pots, they may find their way to the drainage holes on the underside of a pot and start laying eggs there, too. If this happens, cover the drainage holes with a piece of synthetic fabric to prevent the nets from getting in or out of the hole, but to also let water pass through freely. Attach with tape or rubber bands. Sand, controls larvae. Adults lay their eggs in the top one quarter inch of moist soil. If you dress the top of your soil with a one quarter dash half inch of sand, it will drain quickly and often confuse the adults into thinking the soil is dry. Food grade diatomaceous earth controls larvae. 
food grade diatomaceous earth is another effective treatment to get rid of fungus gnats. It contains microscopic shards of silica that physically shred any insect that walks through them. You mix some into the top layer of the infested soil, into potting mix before planting it will any gnat larvae, and adults, that come in contact with it. Cinnamon, controls larvae. Cinnamon powder is a natural fungicide that has been shown to be particularly effective against damping off. It helps control fungus gnats by destroying the fungus that the larvae feed on. Simply sprinkle enough cinnamon to form a visible layer across the top of your potting media, and repeat every few weeks, if needed. Potting mixes containing compost or peat moss seem to be particularly affected by fungus gnats and damping off. If the problem is reoccurring for you, you can try switching from a peat-based mix to one that only contains perlite or vermiculite. Neem oil insecticide Neem oil insecticide is an effective and natural way to get rid of gnats. Basically, the way it works is that it messes with the brains and hormones of the bugs, so they stop eating and mating, and eventually die off. In addition to killing plant pests, neem oil repels them, and it has a slight residual effect to keep bugs away longer than other organic pest control methods. What kind of bugs does neem oil kill? Neem oil works to kill all types of houseplant pests. Spider mites. White flies. Houseplant scale. Aphids, fungus gnats, thrips, mealybugs. How to use neem oil? One and a half teaspoon pure organic neem oil concentrate. Half teaspoon mild liquid soap. One liter warm water. The soap helps the oil mix with water, since they don't mix well on their own. Plus, the soap has the added benefit of killing the plant pests on contact. So you should see an improvement right away with this DIY neem oil insecticidal soap. Mix all of the ingredients into a spray bottle and shake well. You can use your DIY bug spray on your plants right away. Be sure to shake it well each time you use it. Essential oils Essential oils are potent substances that are derived from pressing or distilling plant material. They are rich in strong aromatic compounds called terpenes. These compounds are the source of the unique and natural aromas that each oil has. While these scents may smell lovely and pleasing to us, they are actually unpleasant to insects like gnats. How to use essential oils for gnats 8 ounces spray bottle, half cup of white vinegar, half cup of distilled water, 5 drops of citrus oil, 5 drops of lavender oil, 5 drops of peppermint oil. Pour in all the essential oils into the spray bottle. Close the cap and shake the contents to get them all mixed up. Spray your surroundings with this potent spray to keep the gnats away. Keep away from your eyes and also your pet size. Damping off and soil sterilization. For the oven, put some soil, about 4 inches deep, in an oven safe container, like a glass or metal baking pan, covered with foil. Place a meat, or candy thermometer into the center and bake at 180 to 200 Fahrenheit for at least 30 minutes, or when soil temp reaches 180 Fahrenheit. Cinnamon Fungicide Control Damping off disease is a fungus-based problem that hits small seedlings just as they begin to grow. Cinnamon will help prevent this problem by killing the fungus. It also works with other fungal problems exhibited on older plants, such as slime mold and with deterring mushrooms in planters. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.